Chapter 3, Gantt Chart. Welcome back to Chapter 3. In the last chapter, we looked at the table view of our project board. Now, let's see how else we can visualize our project plan using the Gantt Chart. The Gantt view is one of the many board views available on your boards from the Views Center. Board views allow you to visualize the data in your boards in different ways. For example, in a calendar chart, on a map, in a Gantt chart. And here, if we go to the little plus icon to the right of our board views, we can see our most popular board views, table, dashboard, chart, Kanban, Gantt, cards, form, and files gallery. And if we click on more views down here, it'll bring us to the view center. And these are all the different views that you can add to your board, as well as different apps by Monday. So let's open up the Gantt view. We'll come right here to Gantt. We'll click on it and we'll see what's going on here. If you're not familiar with a Gantt chart, this is one of the most classic and useful ways of showing tasks displayed against time. It is a horizontal bar chart that shows a project's planned schedule and its tasks or events between a start and finish date. Each bar in the Gantt chart represents a task while the dates are laid out horizontally. It's important that you have already filled in your timeline dates in order to see something in the Gantt chart. When you open up the Gantt, you'll see that the Gantt is organized according to the groups of the board. And you can also see the tasks inside and the timelines associated on the left here. So here we have our planning group and the tasks, our execution group and the launch and the timelines to the right of each task here. The Gantt chart itself shows a bar to represent the time dedicated for each task. as you can see here, and the bars run horizontally. You can work from the Gantt itself and view and edit the additional information we put in the table view by simply clicking on the bar in the Gantt. And here, say if you needed to change a timeline, you can do it right from the Gantt chart itself and it will be reflected in the main table view. How cool is that, right? The arrows between the bars are indicative of the dependencies, which we set earlier in our dependency column. The arrows between the bars are indicative of the dependencies, and we set these dependencies in the dependency column, so we can see visually which tasks are dependent on one another. We can change the timelines on a specific task from this view itself. This is where dependencies really shine, as you will see that by moving a task's timeline, the dependent task's timeline will also automatically move on the Gantt. So see, if we change the timeline date by moving the bar, we will see that the Gantt then responds by moving the dependent items forward because the dependent items are dependent on the task before it and the task being completed before it can start. You will also see some diamond shapes on the Gantt. These are our milestones and it's really important for project managers to see these milestones as the most important points in the project timeline. Let's go back to our table view and we'll show you how you can mark something as a milestone in order to, for it to be shown as a diamond on the Gantt. Once we're in the main table view, we'll go to a timeline cell in the task that we want to mark as a milestone. We'll click on the timeline and we'll go to the bottom left hand corner and click set as milestone. And here we can see that we've set this one task as a milestone and we'll already see the little milestone diamond to the left of the column cell. So let's go back to our Gantt view to see our Gantt chart. Now that we've looked at the main components of the Gantt chart, 
Let's see how we can customize the Gantt using the settings. To access the settings, we'll go to the three dot menu that says more options when you hover over it. This is in the upper right hand corner of the Gantt chart. We'll click on settings. So if you have multiple different timeline columns in your board, you can select which timelines you want shown on the Gantt right here. You might want to see a few timeline columns together on the Gantt, which is totally possible. You just select them as you please. And you also have the option to choose how you want to label, color, and group the data in your Gantt. So if we go to group by right here, Right now we have the Gantt highlighted by group, but we could also highlight it by owner of tasks, status for instance, different boards. If we go to the label, we can label it by group name and not the name of the task or the owner or status or timeline as we can see here. And if we go to color by, we can also see how we want to color the Gantt by. Finally, let's talk about two important features on the Gantt chart, which are most commonly used by professional project managers, the critical path and the baseline. Starting with the critical path, for those who are not familiar, a critical path is the longest duration of tasks in your project. A project's critical path is used to identify all the individual tasks that must be completed in order for a project to finish on time. So basically, if any of the critical tasks are delayed, the entire project will also be delayed. In Monday.com's Gantt chart, showing the critical path will show all the critical tasks in red, and the other tasks that aren't important to the critical path will show in gray. So in order to show the critical path while we're in settings, we'll click on critical path and we'll click show critical path. And we can see here in red all the critical tasks and the other critical tasks that aren't dependent on other tasks for the project to be done on time will show in gray. Baseline is another tool used in the project management office. It takes a snapshot of the timeline of the project at any given moment in time. A new timeline column is added to the board to show the timelines as they stand at that moment, along with a column called difference. Any changes to the timeline from that point on will be recorded compared to the baseline in the difference column. On the Gantt itself, on the Gantt itself, the baseline timelines for each task show as a sort of shadow behind the current timeline of each task, which appear as color blocks. This allows you to visually see any changes made to the project timeline and keep a record of them. So in order to show a baseline, we're going to go to baselines in the settings. We're going to add a new snapshot, which will take a baseline. And this will show the snapshot of the current project's timeline right now as we take it. And here we can see the baseline in dark gray behind the current project timeline. And as we discussed, if we go back to the main table, we'll see a new timeline column, which is taken from the baseline we just took, as well as the difference column that will show the difference between the baseline timeline that we just took and the current timeline of the project. So say if we wanna change the current timeline from May 2nd to May 8th, it'll show here that there's a difference of two days between the current timeline of the project and the baseline of the timeline that we just took. And that's the Gantt chart. Let's move on to reporting on the project level in the next video.